All right, let's take a look at a beta version of the new Tablet UX Mego Transmission version. As you can see, we've got a, well, first off, got to get into landscape mode. Oops. Nice little bug there. Oh, we've got hydrogen and pretty much all the apps that you're used to on uh, Intimix products. Let's see what we got here. We got a little Ardour, a little Ardour tablet going on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's nice. Let's see what else we got here. Jump through here. A uh, little re-noise here. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. So there seems to be a little bit of a lag. I'm running this off of a USB stick in live mode. Let's also take a look at the uh, new ivory keyboard that uh, Gabe ported over. Oh, there you go. Was it multi? Gabe, did you pull off some multi magic already? We don't know about? Nice, my man. Yeah, so what you have here is you can come down here and hit these panels and you're gonna get you're gonna get this kind of this kind of action, which is really cool. It's overkill for an audio tablet, I think. I think we can blend something better with uh, a combination of tablet UX and handset UX. Uh, also, when you hit over here on the home button, you can see how you've got, oh, there's VST launcher. That must be FST. Thanks, Paul, and all you guys out there in the Linux community that ported that. We do appreciate that. And then back here. So there's kind of some navigation stuff. Let's see what Stretch Player looks like. Go Stretch Player. My initial thoughts is I, I do like this uh, version. We still need like a lot of work to go. I'd like to see a little bit better navigation through the UI. That's something that we can clean up ourselves. This is probably something more of a stock look from uh, the Mego Lab. And there you have it. There's an early look of what's soon to be Transmission 5. Oh, look at that. Sequence 24 made it back in the mix. You can see more at www.inthemix.com.